At one point or another, we've all looked at ourselves in the mirror and thought, it would be nice to improve my personal style. Having a nice sense of style is typically overlooked by the masses, but comes with a slew of benefits if you know what you're doing. But seeing as you're here and you've clicked on this video, you're not like most, are you? <laughs> and in today's video, I'm gonna break down three simple ways for you to improve your style. If you get any value out of this video, make sure to give it a like. And if you wanna see more moving forward, subscribe. I'd appreciate it. Number one, start with what you have. There's this common misconception that in order to improve something for yourself, you must first acquire something outside of yourself. And while fashion is one of the most obvious examples of consumer art, Improving your style can be as easy as proper item coordination. For example, if you wanna improve an outfit from being basic to something that's a bit more extraordinary or out of the ordinary, you can do something as simple as adding accessories to the mix. For women's wear, this might include something like earrings, headwear, and side bags. And for men's wear, this might include things such as necklaces, sunglasses, and socks. Even if you don't have the quote unquote best accessories that are highly expensive or highly sought after, work with what you have and you'd be surprised to see the outfits you can make with the clothes and the items you have in your wardrobe. For me, some of the best accessories that I own come in at under $20 or even come in at the low price of free 99. Don't overlook these sorts of items. They are true gems when it comes to elevating your style. Another great example of improving your style with the outfits that you already have is to play with fit and form of the clothes that you own. In fashion, there are some really distinct ways in which your clothes can fit you. Some pants, for example, fit tight, some are wide, some are loose, some are more straight, some are ultra wide. Discover that joy of mixing loose fitting tops with tight fitting bottoms or tight fitting tops with loose fitting bottoms or maybe you can tuck in a shirt that you already own and then layer on top with a cardigan a crop top or a jacket that you own or do the opposite let the undergarment that you're wearing kind of flare out and play with the proportions and the silhouette of the items that you currently have. Experimenting with the items that you have can one, save you tons of money, but also allows you to be more creative and express yourself in a more unique and individualistic way, which is one of the coolest things about fashion. Number two, on the road to improving your style, you should probably understand exactly what your why is for improving. For some, it's about fitting into a workplace or a social environment. For others, it's about getting that special guy or girl to notice you. I know we've all been there. <laughs> and for you, it might be something as simple as wanting to feel and look better when you step outside the house. And I think in today's social media age, Gen Z specifically loves this idea of romanticizing your life. And I think fashion is a wonderful way to romanticize your day-to-day -day experiences. Regardless of your reason for clicking on this video, hone in on your why, understand it, and really meditate on it moving forward into 2023. The why for improving your style will stop you from buying into trends and fads that don't really represent the style that you want to move towards. For me personally, I started getting into fashion because I was interested in sneakers and more specifically when I played basketball, basketball sneakers. And as my style developed through the years, I realized that the why for me getting more and more into fashion is that for me, I wanted to showcase to the world that black athletes could express themselves artistically through fashion in a tasteful and in a desirable manner. And I feel like as I've grown up and continue to make content and continue to talk about fashion, I'm doing that in a really authentic way. What I wore in 2018 is a dramatic shift from what I'm wearing in 2023 and 2024. <laughs> Trust me, it sounds corny, but know your why and it'll steer you in the right direction when it comes to the development of your personal style. Number three, experiment more than you imitate. This one is tough in the modern age, from Pinterest to TikTok, TikTok to Instagram, and every other social media platform out there, 
we're constantly being inundated with imagery. And with all this imagery, it's easy to fall into the imitation trap when you are constantly scrolling on social media. But for me, the most joy I've had with fashion is being able to be creative, being able to experiment. And it kind of ties back into the first point that I made, but being playful with your outfits is a amazing experience. And once you find something that clicks, you feel a sense of pride unlike anything else. Getting inspiration from others will never be bad nor wrong. I get inspiration all the time still. But if you really want to improve your style and stand out from the crowd, it's all in trial and error. And experimenting doesn't just mean buying this or buying that. It goes back to what we were talking about before with looking at what you already have. Experimenting can be exploring new combinations of outfits that you have or exploring different combinations with footwear, tops dresses, silhouettes, jewelry. There's so many combinations that you probably already have in your closet. And if you must buy something, try going thrifting first or buy secondhand online. Or this is a crazy one, I know. This is, this is crazy, but I know a lot of people do this and they love it. Try sewing garments yourself. I personally suck at sewing, or I guess I could probably improve. I just haven't given myself the time to improve, but I've seen so many people and I've had so many people reach out and talk to me about the best thing about fashion for them is that they can make pieces or have pieces made by them for them. And that's just really special and unique. I guarantee you, if you experiment more in 2023 and 2024, your style will definitely improve. Start with what you have, understand your why, and experiment more than you imitate. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a like, share it with a friend if you really enjoyed it. And as always, I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity in 2022. So that means I'm spreading peace, love, and positivity to you, wherever you are in the world. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Abianto. Peace. What's good, post vid vid? Here's a fist bump for the one time. Bop, here's two. Bop, three times. Bop. Thank you guys so much for staying to the end of the video. Merry Christmas to those who celebrated. Happy holidays to those who don't. This is the very last PVV of 2022. I don't know where I'd be without you guys. I appreciate you so much. Always staying to the end of the videos and making this channel and making making videos uh, an enjoyable experience. The community is what really drives the motor to make these videos. So if you can leave a hashtag PVV4L, PVV for life, and uh, we'll see you in 2023. Peace PVV.